What's good? Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, it's raining. It doesn't let us be great. It doesn't let us be great. The weather does not let us be great. It just doesn't let us be great. It's Labor Day. Happy Labor Day to all my L family. Let's go with y'all. I hope y'all enjoy y'all Labor Day. We just ate. And. Hey, dude, do not lock me out. We just ate. And it's raining all freaking weekend. Look at this. So, I think I'll do a story time. What's the story this time we could do? I'm telling you that thing. Um, So story time I'm gonna do is why I moved to Georgia and what made me move to Georgia. So it is approximately 2022 and I moved to Georgia 2005. Um I had graduated college June 3rd, 2005, and I moved to Georgia I moved to Georgia June 3rd, 2005. And I graduated, I think in May. No, it was June. No, I got that June 3rd. When I moved, it was sometime in June, or was it J early July? Anyway, it was 2005, the summer of 2005, and I had just graduated college. My mom had passed away March 2005, and I was living with my grandfather, may he rest in peace, mulatto, my love. Ooh, coming down. But yeah, I had um I was living with my grandfather and I had graduated college and my mom had just passed away and I felt like I needed a change. And I had came to Georgia one weekend um in two thousand five to see what it was. I've never been here, what it was like, what it offers, and I did the whole tourist thing. But then, I decided to move. Um, it was an easy decision because I have my whole family in New York. I have my son and his family in New York. And I just, I just didn't know if it was the right decision, but I knew that I had to make it. And I remember I paid for the movers to move my mom's stuff and my stuff to Georgia. And um, my car, I paid for it to be driven over here on one of those trucks. And we got an apartment that same weekend we got our apartment and I just remember it being like really really fast and really really simple and it was a beautiful first apartment I had I had a two bedroom two and a half bath I had a fireplace and I had a whole sunroom living room area and it was a garden walk and it was beautiful and I had it furnished out. And I remember once we settled in, I told everybody in New York that we moved to Georgia. 
And my mother died, had wished me bad for years. And a lot of my family was like, oh, you'll be back. They didn't think that I would make it out here in Georgia. But I knew better. And I knew I would. And I don't regret it. Now it is approximately Seventeen years. It's seventeen years. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Eight. Seven. About seventeen years that we've been in Georgia, and and I love it. I do. It has its good and bad things like the law is extra strict so you have to be on your P's and Q's um, and you know things like that but the good thing is you get a lot for your money it's a clean place not full of rats and it's just peaceful you could retire here, you could buy land here, you could be your own boss here. It's just like, now in 2022, it's called Black Hollywood. But we've been here for a very long time and I'm just thankful and I'm blessed here. I don't regret it. And I know that we have challenges just like everybody else. And we're gonna go through things just like everybody else. But this is home. I was in New York till I was 21. And I've been here 17 years. Yep. So that's my story. Y'all comment down below. If y'all ever just wanted to leave and wanted to move and just wanted to live somewhere else. Um, I remember crying on the plane, leaving everything behind. That I remember feeling no more stomach pain, no more drama. It just, this is home. So like, comment, subscribe, smack that notification for the back, for the back, L. Happy birthday.